Hi guys, I'm Yasin Zainul and welcome to this tutorial, Photoshop tutorial uh, on which we are going to turn the surface of something into wood just like this one. I have uh, an engine which is made of uh, metal, iron or something and I've turned the surface into wood. It's a very easy and simple process, just uh, some steps to follow. And let's get started. So I will uh, erase this. I have here, uh, this is my original layer as a smart object, so I double click on it to open it on a separate window. Okay, I hit okay. I, I don't know if you are familiar with with displacement maps, and here I'm going to, to create a displacement map. So when I change it, I want the texture to fit and look naturally and real on my uh, original layer. So, uh, and displacement map should be saved as a PSD file and only in black and white. So what do I need? So I, here I'm going to add some is, uh, adjustment layer. So I will increase a little bit the, in contrast and also some the high uh, the brightness. And then I'm going to deserate the image. I hit Control U and I want to drag way down the until 100 minus 100 percent of the saturation so there is no color left and then I save this my file as ah uh, I hit control s I, 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 I do not want to save it inside my document here I want to save it in a separate file on its own uh, file and since as it is this so I hit control s control shift s so to save, to save it as go to my desktop maybe I don't know where uh, record me, uh, yes. My record me file wood electronics, and here I'm going to, to name is this place displaced map. Okay, and they hit okay. Then I close this and go back to my to my original file. Uh, oh, my Photoshop always. Now I w what I'm going to do, now I'm going to displace my texture. So I go to filter, this distort, and then choose displace. Displace it gives me this uh, panel for the displacement. Uh, for the horizontal, how do I want to shift for horizontal scales? I want it in my case. It depends on your resolution of the image. My in my case, I'm going to make it 20 uh, horizontally and 20 vertically, and leave it switch to fit and repeat edges pixel. Then I hit OK. And here it asks me where is my displacement map, and I choose my displaced map, which is as a PSD, and choose open. And here it's going to displace that texture on uh, based on that uh, displacement map. <laughs> Sorry. Then what I want also to do is for look if you if we zoomed before, after. You say that distortion is very is very powerful and fantastic in Photoshop. You can distort that. So that look here the next step I'm going to change the blend mode to multiply and here is the, the effect but it's not as powerful and clean as I want so um, what I'm going to do, I want to duplicate my layer one time second time oh, I, okay, I stop here <laughs> this time and this is clear I think no, and I'm not going to leave all the blend modes for multiply I want to change to change this to change this one to soft light and this one to maybe to overlay more powerful and for the multiply for the word i want to increase uh, decrease a little bit the the opacity and if that but here it's in, in the if we say the the fx is taking the whole image i want to fx only my engine so i here i need some masking first i want to group this through the all these three layers and I hide them, I go back to my original layer, I add an, uh, brightness and contrast again. I want to increase the, the brightness, so I I'm going to use this uh, for, select, for making a selection. Then I go to select and select color range. And click here and shift and click and drag, shift here also. I see if you see this period, I want to click here. So we come here, shift. I'm still holding shift, or I choose this pen with plus sign. I also here 
and maybe also hair which is going to be too much but that's okay and I'm going to increase a little bit and decrease the fuzziness and then I have okay but this image uh, the mask has, has gone with the brightness so I want to I will click and drag it to my group so I had this I don't need this uh, brightness and contrast now I delete it now uh, I've used uh, the uh, one mask for the three layers now so this is my mask I think it's okay I it's, it still need some some work so that's why I'm going to uh, take uh, a brush and paint here I don't want this area to take effects on this one also and here also maybe I change it to black Mm -hmm. I think it's okay. No, this is too much. Okay, so and here for this, this thing is made of plastic or something. So I want to make it for it's in this in its original color. So I will make a a mark here, a circle, and fill it. I make sure I don't on my mask and fill it with that gray and take my brush again and make it smaller and some of these colors here and to make it more natural what, um, what I'm going to do I will hide my my group and go to channels and load some of this dark hair or with some only some little of lightness so uh, I take some highlight when I hold hold control and click of some of these channels I will to I'm going to hold or to select the highlights on this on this channel so I'm going to choose green here because I think green is the most darker one so I hold my co control uh, on my keyboard and I click mm, not that's too much I think Should, uh, the green is the best so I, I go I say with the, the greens I hold that I load that uh, selection and go back to my layers. I go to my mask. I I show it again, and I I want to fill that with that gray or white. So I fill it first with gray. It's too much. So I fill it with the with black. So much also. Maybe I will, it's going to be must must be filled with white. So mm, I take my default colors and I hold Alt and Backspace to fill it with that color, and I hide that. So this is before and after. So it's really it gives some some natural colors. Okay. So even though this circle is has taken taken some of the colors of the if I, if it's if I look at it's originally it's the the text is white and uh, it's almost black but here it's it's darker and taking the texture and the color from the this, this wood and I like that effect so it looks more natural I keep it that way so if I zoom it zooms in near I say how the effect is taken and how is blended on my original pixels it looks just natural and realistic so uh, it's very simple and easy process as I said you can use this technique to change someone's face electronics etc so thank you very much for uh, for joining me for this tutorial if you like this tutorial please subscribe and like my facebook page uh, before we go I want to add a little bit of adjustment color curves so not to make to make the colors blend together like this day way yes thank you very much and see you